Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith, and today we'll discuss why, when we pray, we aren't always answered. Now, logically, we shouldn't expect God to answer all our prayers, at least not favorably. Sometimes we might ask for something that would be harmful to us, or which we don't really want, and since God cares about our well-being, he might prevent us from getting what we say we want in order to protect us. Still, there's no denying the strong terms the Bible uses to describe the answering of prayer. Therefore I say unto you all things, whatsoever you ask when ye pray, believe that you shall receive, and they shall come unto you. Mark eleven twenty four. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask whatever you will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15, 7. And this is the confidence which we have towards him, that whatsoever we shall ask according to his will, he heareth us. And we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask. We know that we have the petitions which we request of him. 1. John 5, 14-15. Should we expect to have all our prayers answered based on these verses? Well, no. It's important to keep in mind what each verse says and what each doesn't say. The first verse says that you need to believe that God will do these things for you in order for your prayers to be answered. The second says that you need to abide in Jesus and his words need to abide in you. The third only says that God hears us. It implies that he'll answer prayer at the end, but none of the three verses specifies when God will answer prayer or grant the things desired, not even the third, where... We have the petitions could just mean we're promised the fulfillment of the petitions we've made. However, there's one thing that all three of these verses make abundantly clear. God has promised to grant the requests of the faithful and obedient. As to when or where these requests will be granted, But he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or moments which the Father hath put in his own power. Acts 1.7 God isn't going to tell us the times that he's chosen for the fulfillment of our requests, but I think that even if we can't know the times, we may be able to know some of the circumstances. You ask and receive not, because you ask amiss that you may consume it on your concupiscences. Our concupiscence is our temptation to do evil with what God has given us. So those in heaven, having been freed from evil temptations, are free to receive their desires in a way that won't cause them harm. So while some prayers may be granted in this life, we have good reasons to think that the fulfillment of many of our prayers may be postponed until the heavenly state, so that we can enjoy their fulfillment more freely, more fully, and without the danger that temptations cause us in this life. God chooses this deliberately to avoid encouraging us to sin. Next, will the saints in heaven have emotions? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.